Hey, Stoner, what'd you get this weekend? I'll tell you what I got this weekend. First, hello, welcome back, uh, my my uh, Stoner stash box. Uh, before I show you what I got this weekend, I'm gonna show you what I got from my from uh, Discogs. Um, this is my first time. It was my first time buying from Discogs, and the experience was great. It was really great. Uh, I'll show you what I got. Buddy guy. Damn right, I got the blues. And I am the blues. Willie Dixon. Yeah, I can see that there. Damn, it's shining. Okay. And you might not be able to see this. This is called General, Genuine. <laughs> genuine House Rock and Blues. Or House of Rock and Music. That's still blues. It's from Alligator Records. Uh, let's see it. And then I got... Uh, take this off real quick. I've been having a thing for uh, Wet Willie. I've, I've liked Wet Willie for a while, but... Um, I picked this up. I can remember what I paid for. It wasn't really a whole lot, but... Wet Willie, dripping wet. You see that? Pretty cool. It's kind of like a... It's got monster movies, posters and stuff. It's pretty cool. And the vinyl was really great. I mean, it was... It was look at that. You guys said VG. And this is... As far as I'm concerned, this is a VG+. Plus. But, hey... I haven't played it yet. I still would have washed it. I mean, it's, I'm sure he washed it before he uh, sent it, but eh, it's just, just to be on the safe side. Now, this is what I got this weekend. This was from Saturday. I went to Mount Carmel Fle uh, Farmer's Market, Flea Market, the same thing. My guy was there. I'll show you the albums first, and then I'll show you the goodies, goodies. Ah, and it might be a real reflection. I got all these in a the bag, so I don't know if I want to unbag them or not. Uh, box tops. The Letter and Neon Rainbow. This is OG, my friends. This is OG. And I don't want to pull it out. These are all in VG... Some on the border of being VG plus. These were about three bucks a piece, something like that. All these were, except for the last thing I want to show you. Sliding the Family Stone's greatest hits. Now I already have this, but the one that I have, let me get photo albums up like so. See, sliding the Family Stone. The one that I have is a reissue. The original, the one that I have now is, is a reissue. And it's kind of beat up. This, my friends, see that? Yellow Epic Label. Yeah, very cool. Now, these next, these next two, well, you're gonna poo poo me because they're not really. The jackets aren't in great shape, and the vinyl's not in the best shape. But I don't have these. I've always wanted these, and they're cheap enough. I go with the cheapest stuff I can get, better quality. And this isn't the Butcher Block, block but yesterday and today, the Beatles. And, you know, the vinyl, this is like from, from 1966 or whenever the heck I was. I can't remember. But, yeah, you know, it's got the person's initials down here. You know, and it's got masking tape. You know, and ring wear and all this other crap. But I got it. It's good. It's good. Drive my car. 
I'm only sleeping. Nowhere man, nowhere man. Mr. Roberts, yesterday, act naturally. And the bird can sing. We can work it out. Day tripper. Yeah, hey, man. What's three bucks? Rubber soul. Let me see that. Stupid reflection. Rubber soul. And like I say, the, the, the vinyls, and this is just as bad as the, the other one. You know, it's masking tape there, there, there. You know, it looks like crap, but damn it, it's the Beatles. And I didn't have it. You know, now, the same way with this other one here, the original inner sleeve, which I was surprised to see. You know, it's tore, but, and, you know. but yeah, you know, it's scuffed up, scratched up, kind of dull. It needs clean. I mean, the person's got her name all around the rainbow on there, but it's a few bucks, man. Yeah, it's a few bucks. A few bucks. And it comes to a few bucks if it looks kind of playable. I am going to buy it. Easy as that. And this one is pretty cool. I'm a big Johnny Cash fan. In fact, can you see that? Fabulous Johnny Cash. I probably start, should start keeping these out. Yeah. It's in stereo, stereo Fidelity. So it should be sounding real cool. Good old Johnny Cash. I think this was his first, if I'm not mistaken, this was his first album for Columbia Records. Johnny Cash. That bright light. And this one, there was an auction a few weeks ago on Facebook that I participated in. I was wanting this thing. I was bidding on it. And I was outbid. Credence. By you country. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Original sleeve. Okay. Wow, original sleeve. It actually looks pretty darn good. BG, you know. BG. Not bad. Not bad. You know, I've, you know, all I need now is um, the first one, and um, I believe Mardi Gras is the last, the, the, which is the first one, the last one. Uh, <laughs> this is a uh, uh, Ken's Ken's. Oh, I can't something cats. I can't pronounce that, but you heard the song "Quick Joy Small." Bubblegum from the 60s on the Psychedelic Buddha label. Yeah, it looks pretty good. You know, I have a little, little scuffs here, little scuffs there. Needs a good cleaning. Couple of bucks, man, couple of bucks. Now, this is the this doesn't need an introduction. I'm that big on, on uh, 7 inch 45s. Not so much as I used to when I was younger, but I couldn't pass this up. And it's in pretty good shape, too. You know, got the original thingy inside. See? The adapter. Cheech and Chong, man. It's just a merry elephant. And the other side is Weak Dinkerson. Yeah, I'll do that later. <laughs> and this thing here that I'm going to show you. Um, he was wanting 40 bucks for it. 
And I said, no, that's, that's a lot, man. That's a lot of money for, for this. Um, he goes, well, how about 35? I go, oh, I don't know. He's looking at me and looking at me, and I'm looking at him. And I said, about 20? He goes, okay. B.B. King. I can see that or not, because it's, oops. B.B. <laughs> King, the King of the Blues, four CD box set. Still, it's sealed, completely sealed. And on the back, make it out or not, this thing focuses. It's for promotional only. 20 bucks. I went to Discogs and it's like, uh, the lowest price is like 22 bucks. It's mine, mine, mine. Okay, now, this is for uh, Sunday. I went to the flea market in Lewisburg on Sunday, and my guy was was there that I usually visit, where all the albums were a buck a piece. I got some albums and some CDs. I'll show you the Emma cassette too. Peter Wolf, Come As You Are. Uh, of course, you know who Peter Wolf is. Lead vocalist for Jay Giles. Um, Paul Rogers and Company, the Hendrix set, mini album. See that? Like Paul Rogers, like Jimi Hendrix. Uh, Sarah McLaughlin, this is a CD single, Steaming. There's like three tracks on here. Uh, the last track is, uh, what is it? Oh, Salisbury Hill, Peter Gabriel song. That's a buck. Uh, another CD single by John Mellencamp, uh, Just Another Day. I prefer full CDs, but, you know. Uh, Primus, Tales for the Punch Bowl. That was a dollar. I'll try to go through these things quickly. Uh, Peter Gabriel, speaking of which, 2002 release of So. No, So is not here. So, So. Um, yeah, I've got three of these on CD already. One cassette, and I have it on volume. Uh, vinyl. Vinyl. Um, I don't know. I just can't stop buying. I love this album. I love this album. The best thing he's, he's done. I mean, since leaving Genesis, the best thing he's ever done. And next one, the Smashing Pumpkins. Men, melon? Is that Melon? Yeah. Melancholy and the Infinite Sadness. Dual disc. One dollar. And it's got... Lots of uh, lots of their big hits on it. Uh, tonight, tonight, uh, zero bullet with butterfly wings. Uh, what's the other one? Oh, 1979. I'm sure it's gonna be good. You know, it is. The bass is cracked, but semantics, man, semantics. Now, I'm gonna try to get through this real quick. Now, don't laugh at me when you see the first one. This is a stack that I got of albums. At least buying this here, first one here, I don't have to buy any more by this artist. Because I got them all here. Buckscar Willie. Best love.